Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn my favorite thing with fractions, which is adding or subtracting fractions that have unlike denominators. You can see here that I have a fraction that has three as the denominator and another with five. I cannot add these fractions the way that they are. I need to find a denominator that's the same or a common denominator. In order to do that, I'm going to bring both my denominators that are unlike over here and create an LCM chart, a least common multiples chart. So first our, I'll start with our denominator of three and next our denominator of five. I always like to write out my first three multiples of each number until I find that peanut. If I don't find it with the first three multiples, I keep going. So three times one is three, three times two is six, and three times three is nine. For five, five times one is five, five times two is 10, and five times three is 15. So far, no peanut. So let's keep going. Three times four is 12, and three times five is 15. And lo and behold, I found my peanut, found my peanut, found my peanut, there it is. 15 is my peanut, which also means it's going to be my new denominator for both one third and two fifths. How do I do that? We'll bring it on over here and change those denominators to 15. That's gonna be our new common denominator. Now they're the same, all I have to do is solve a mystery. What is our numerator? Well, first thing I need to do is I need to remember what did I do to three here to get to five? Remember, we're working with multiples, so I multiplied three times what to get to 15? One, two, three, four, five. Three times five equals 15. And I always say, whatever you do to the brother, you have to do to the sister. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So I'm going to multiply my numerator times five. That means one times five is five. One third is equal to five fifteenths. How do I know that? Three times five is 15. 15 times one is 15. They're equivalent fractions. We have another mystery to solve, folks. What did I do to the five over here to make it a 15. Remember, it's a multiples chart. So I multiplied that five times one, two, three. Whatever I do to the denominator, good job, I have to do to the numerator. So I'm going to multiply my numerator times three. Two times three is six. Now I can add my two fractions together. Five fifteenths plus six fifteenths is going to give me 11 fifteenths. And that's how you add or subtract fractions that have unlike denominators. It's so easy and I hate to say it, but I think it's super fun. I hope you enjoy it too.